This video is brought to you by the Battle Zoo Bestiary, a new book featuring 100 award-winning monsters and the monster part system that allows players to harvest resources from their fallen foes and craft into custom gear. The Battle Zoo Bestiary is now available at BattleZoo.com. Hey everybody, Dave here with another Pathfinder Rule Reminder for you. And today's topic really might not be considered a Rule Reminder because we're not really talking about rules today, but we are going to answer a question that uh, was posed to me. And that question was, how do you go about extracting images from the Pathfinder PDFs? Um, so let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. And before I bring this up, I should should say that uh, there's going to be some spoilers here. I need a uh, document in order to use as a sample for this walkthrough. So I'm going to be using the newest adventure from Pathfinder 2nd Edition, uh, Punks in a Powder Keg. If, um, if you're sensitive about spoilers for that, you, you may not want to watch this. But uh, some of his artwork in one of his pages I, I, I will have to be showing you because i got to have something to, uh, to demonstrate with. So with that in mind, here is an image of one of the pages from Punks in a Powder Keg. And say you come to this part in the book and you see this artwork of the, the tiefling orc gunslinger and you say this is an awesome piece of art. I'd really like to have a clean copy of it that I can put on my character sheet. Or maybe you're a fellow YouTuber out there and you would like to use it to uh, represent a conversation you're going to be having about uh, uh, versatile heritages and, and the gunslinger class or what have you and you want to extract this picture from the page. Traditionally, the way you would go about that is you might take a screenshot of it and then put it into a program like, like GIMP and then, and then try to cut out around the edges and between the little spots in her hair and around the smoke and, and all that work and you still are left with trying to figure out what to do with this name that is over her leg and, and so forth. It's, it, it can be very cumbersome, but the good news is, is there's a relatively easy way to automate this that that will extract these images. Uh, it does still take some work and there are some things you're going to need, but let's go ahead and walk through this. The first thing you're going to need is a, an official Paizo PDF. So this process so far, I think it's worked with every Paizo PDF I've used it with, whether it's Pathfinder or Starfinder, first edition, second edition, but uh, it doesn't seem to work with, um, with other companies um, PDFs. So this is kind of unique to whatever process Paizo uses and outside of Paizo it may or may not work. The other things you're going to need is there's a freeware program called PDF Images and it is just a, a tool that is used, you can run it on a command line and it, and it pulls images out of PDFs. But you're also going to want to get uh, a file from our friend Philadelphia. If we look at this now seven year old um, a post on the, the Pathfinder subreddit, uh, this person in Philadelphia was very kind to write a bat file that automates not all of the work, but a whole lot of it for you. Now, the only problem here is I just checked and it appears this link is no longer valid. So that leaves me with a little bit of a conundrum. Uh, I am going to go ahead and share my copy of this that I downloaded from them. And uh, it looks like they, they posted this publicly. They, they put it out there for everybody to use. So I think that's going to be cool. What you, what you do is once you download the, uh, the, the bat file that Philadelphia uh, created, uh, that file is going to have these three things in it. Uh, and actually, images, the images folder might not be there by default. I think maybe it's created the first time you run process.bat. Uh, and if that's a problem, maybe you'll have to manually put make an images folder. But when you extract that uh, zip file to any folder, then all you need to do is get the, the Paizo PDF and put it in the same folder. And then from here, it's going to be pretty easy. We just select the process bat and either hit your enter key or double click it. And this is going to start the process of extracting the images. 
and this can be a little time consuming so you you might want to run and get yourself a, a beverage of choice and come back in a few minutes and through the magic of YouTube I'm just going to go ahead and and skip until it's ready for us okay so that took about three three and a half minutes but when the process is done you'll see in the uh, little DOS box here it goes through all of the different images and decides whether or not to keep the images or remove them. I believe that's based solely on size so that any really tiny graphical images in the PDF uh, you don't have to fool with. But here it says now manually delete all unneeded images and press enter. Okay, so let me show you what they're talking about here. You don't want to mess with this window. But if we go back to our, our explorer here and I click on images, we now see all of these are in here and let me even maybe if I go here you can see it's created uh, PNG images of every single graphical element that uh, that was in the PDF and was big enough for it to to pass its filter where it said whether or not it's, it's gonna keep something or ditch something now you also notice uh, something's a little strange here so for each of these images, there's the image, and then there's this shadow image. And both of these images are going to have to be merged together in order to create the final image. So basically, anywhere on this image that is black is going to become transparent in the final merged version, and anything that is in white is going to be saved. So that's where we go with merging the two items together. In order to do this, you can probably do it inside of your Explorer window, but um, I actually use another program called X in View, and let me bring X in View up. This helps me go through the process of determining what needs to be kept and what needs to be weeded out. And what I do is I sort it by the dimensions of the image. So all of the large items are at the top and all of the small ones are at the bottom. And so right off the back bat, we see we've got all of these, these um, sort of window side panels that are part of the PDF. So if I bring back up the uh, PDF, where it's basically talking about all, of, you got this, this background. And we want to take that out. We don't need any of these backgrounds. So I am going to highlight all of those and then hit the delete key and get rid of those now we come to these full panel well these are advertisements for other books that I've already done and extracted the images so I don't need those and the maps I don't need for my purposes so I'm going to delete all of those and it looks like these might be full page images that are worth having uh, don't need any of this. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to weed out all the things you don't need. And when you're done, you're going to want to make sure that for every image you want to keep, that the preceding um, file or is, is matching file needs to be its shadow, so to speak. So give me a second as I work through these. Okay, so I have removed all of the images I'm not interested in having. And now the next step is going to be cutting out of this folder any of the full page images. So basically, if we go back to this window that's saying press any key to continue, whenever I hit a key to continue, it's going to merge together all of the images that are in two. And it's going to do those right next to each other. So if I was to hit that button right now, it would merge these two images together. And it would merge these two images together and these two images and it would be a complete mess and nothing would look right. So all of these that are full page images or all of them that do not have that uh, shadow file counterpart, 
I need to remove from this folder. So I'm going to do a quick look and try to find all those. And then just I am going to cut them. And I am going to put them in a, another place. So I think for our purposes, I'm just going to make a, a new uh, a new folder here. And I'm going to call this uh, Punks in a Powder Keg 1. And I'm going to paste those images in. And so now let's go back to our view of all the files. And the, the easiest thing that I've found to do is if you have, if you have uh, two other folders in the same folder, then this view works out that you can just kind of go down the line and just see are these all regular images followed by all of the shadows. And as long as all of those are correct, then you should feel fairly confident that this is going to work. Sometimes uh, I miss one or two, and uh, that's why I do this check. But it looks like it's all together. So now I just go back here, hit a key, and it is going to merge all of the images into one. There we go. So those are the final images. And if I come back to this view, we can see all of them. And, um, you know, in Windows, it doesn't really show you the transparency, but trust me, these are transparent images around them. And let's see if I can even find uh, the one we were looking at before. So there she is. She does not have the nameplate over her, her leg. Uh, we don't have the sidebar. We don't have any issues with the uh, smoke coming out of our guns. It's a nice, clean export from the PDF. So there you go. How I go about exporting the images of the characters and scenes and everything from the PDFs. That's the way it works. Once this is done, it's all dumped into the main folder. And if you did make a mistake, it conveniently backs up everything in the done folder so you can try that merge again. Uh, if you have any questions about this process, please leave them in the comments. If you have any suggestions for future rule reminders, please let me know in the comments as well. And as always, I'd like to take a quick second to say thank you to everybody out there who supports me. Whether that's through liking the videos, leaving your comments and suggestions, sharing the video, subscribing to this channel, subscribing to the Patreon. Thank you for everything you folks do. And thanks for watching. Take care. Happy gaming.